Let's do problem number 23. It says, if a varies directly as the square of b, and a equals 12 when b equals 2, find a when b equals 4. Wow, so that's a lot to read um, at once. So the way I do these problems is I read them like one little piece uh, at a time. So if a varies directly as the square of b, okay, so let's write down uh, what that means. So a, so whenever it says varies directly, it's just equals k times whatever it says in the problem. So the square of b, so that would be b squared. Because it's directly, remember y varies directly as x means it equals kx. Okay, if it says inversely, it's k over x. So it says directly, so it's just k. So a varies directly as the square of b. Okay, so a equals k b squared. Good stuff. Then it says, and a equals 12 when b equals 2. Okay, so now we have to use this information to find k. So a is 12. That's equal to k times, uh, well, b is 2, so 2 squared. So then you get 12 equals, well, 4 times k, so 4k. And then divide by 4, divide by 4, so we get k equals 3. Okay, so now you take the k and you plug it back into your equation. So we end up with a equals 3b squared. So if you want to think of it in terms of steps, because I do, I just don't number them, the first step is to write down the equation. Okay, so a varies directly as the square of b. The second step is to find k using the information. So we plugged in a equals 12, we plugged in b equals 2, and we found k and you plug it back in. And the third step is the best step in the world, it's to get the answer. So find a when b equals 4. So all you do now is plug in 4. So I'll write down the equation again, it's a equals 3b squared. And it says b is 4, so all you do is you put a 4 there, so it'll be 3 times 4 squared. Uh, well, 4 squared is uh, 16, so you get 3 times 16. So that should be equal to 48, and let's see if that's one of the answers. Yes, yes it is. So b is the correct answer to this problem. I hope this video uh, has been helpful. That's it.